Peggy 16. Join us as we make ready for one dangerous trip in the harshest environment ever inhabited by mankind, Mars. With its terraforming aborted hundreds of years ago and a murderous sun to boot, the Red Planet isn't exactly a hospitable place, and every nook and cranny of the forsaken planet holds deadly lurking threats. Many hybrid creatures roam the canyons of Mars. Originally bioengineered by the first settlers from the genetic makeup of animals found on Earth, they have since gotten loose, creating a budding ecosystem. The harsh living conditions led them to mutate along the centuries, developing effective defense mechanisms. Most of them are aggressive and territorial, and downright deadly should you fight them unprepared. But the other human survivors can be just as dangerous. Ever since Mars got isolated from Earth, multiple factions have risen. The corporation Aurora and its rival Abundance, which you're a part of, are among the most powerful. More secretive factions exist, such as the underworld mobs who call themselves the Vori, the Merchants Guild of Noctis, and the less lucky mutants whose DNA degenerated after being exposed to solar radiations and who are now living as slaves and outcasts. You will be able to befriend those factions or antagonize them, depending on your actions and your choices throughout the story. Hopefully, you have all the tools to survive the harsh environment of Mars. Technomancer powers can cover a wide range of uses. You have access to damaging powers such as the most basic electric arc or the more advanced electric storm, but also support powers. The electric fist will help you control the pace of combat thanks to its superior stunning and disrupting ability. Electric weapon will imbue your current blade, mace or staff with deathly sparks and magnetic shield will surround you with an intangible field negating incoming damage for a time. All Technomancer powers are devastating in their own right, but you'll have to use them tactically as each use will cost you focus, a slow regenerating resource. Each of your powers are upgraded by spending points in the skill tree, but they also have access to two mutually exclusive upgrades changing the way the power behaves. Your Technomancy powers complement your combat stance of choice. Combat with the staff, signature of the Technomancer. With a blade and gun, mark of the rogue. Or mace and shield, the weapons favoured by soldiers. The combat with the staff is based on mobility and area damage using sweet moves and blows. Its wide attack can stagger multiple enemies at a time and so this stance is most effective against big groups of enemies. Fighting with the blade and gun requires agility with careful dodging. The blade has a higher critical rate than other weapons and can poison enemies for additional damage over time. The nail gun lets you control the pace of the combat by interrupting enemies from afar and land finishing blows at safe range. Finally, the mace and shield combat stance focuses on defense. It is less mobile than other stances but allows you to block incoming attacks and gunshots. Parrying at the last second lets you stagger enemies and inflict deadly counterattacks. Just like for Technomancy, each of these three stances has its own skill tree, where you can gain new skills but also improve them using different upgrade paths. Whatever your stance of choice may be, your companions will help you in combat. They all have their own talents complementing your own. Tanks, ranged combat specialist, healer, in the midst of battle, you'll be able to assign them different behaviours to adapt depending on the current situation and what you want them to do, such as focusing on melee combat or keeping you alive. Upgrading your arsenal will be equally important. You will loot and buy better weapons and armour or receive them as a crest reward. Each has its own bonuses and some of them also have crafting slots, allowing you to further improve their stats according to your preferences and playstyle. You'll be able to improve damage, resistance, as well as add various special effects such as disruption, resistance to specific damage types, energy regeneration, and more. However, brute force won't be the only tool at your disposal to overcome adversity. If you decide to select them, different talents will help you take alternative routes. The stealth talent will help you sneak around, taking down targets silently to weaken a group of enemies, or simply to pass through unnoticed. Traps and lockpicking allows you to set traps on the patrol route of enemies, but also often lets you access alternative routes by unlocking doors. 
The science and charisma talents will allow you to try and defuse tense situations before they explode, successfully averting a crisis without having to fight. I'm telling you to get the hell out of all fear and don't look back. I don't... sure. Yeah, sure. Bye, Lieutenant. Survive the many dangers of Mars and you will become the most powerful Technomancer Master. Forge the destiny of Mars, June 28th on PS4, Xbox One and PC.